Hello everyone, this is the Windows Tech Channel, and welcome back to a second video on the Acer Spyro ZG5. Now, today's video, I'm going to be, be I'm going to be restoring this netbook, the Acer ZG5, to its factory defaults. Now, this it's a pretty simple process. There's there's no DVDs, no USBs, no CDs required. It's basically just a matter of a keystroke combination and some patience. So I'm gonna. So we're gonna have it on the screen like that. So basically, this is. Yeah. Um. Tanya got the tripod is working again. It's just that the bottom part's missing, and I'm currently waiting on a. And I'm currently waiting on a replacement parts for the tripod to to arrive. So that way, so that way I can make much more better videos. So the first thing I do. Uh, well, back up your data, which. In this case, I don't have that much data. I just I <clears throat> I have some un I have unimportant data on there. So we're gonna power it on, and then you're gonna be and then you're gonna be when and then when the Acer logo disappears, you're gonna be spamming Alt F10. And and if it all goes right, oops. All right, let me try that again. All right, um, continue, continually hit, continue hit Alt F10. And then there you go. Starting Acer E Recovery Management Environment. You can see there, it's in the launch. And it's booting right now into the recovery environment. By the way, um, by the way, um, that noise you hear in the background that fan light is another laptop I have. That'll be the next video where I show, where I show it from, from like the, it'll be my computer collection part two where I show that video. So right here, you're in the Acer e recovery management screen. It says restore system from CD, DVD, but the external optical drive, as I said in the previous video, did not come with this machine since I second handed this laptop. And then although you got restore system to factory default, that's the one we're gonna be going for here. So click that. And then and then notice when reinstalling all data and C drive will be overwritten. And require and recovery will yeah. Recovery will require plenty of power. So please plug in your AC cord. It's already plugged in. Click OK and then it'll do its thing. And then system restore will overwrite the existing data on the hard drive. So so basically, we're just going to click OK, and then I'll see you guys at the end of the recovery process. All right, and right here it says restore finished. Please click OK to restart the computer. All right, that's exactly what we're gonna do. So, all right, and then it'll just reboot automatically. Yep, and then it'll, it'll, all right, and then we are about to enter the out of box, we are about to, we are about to enter the Acer out of box experience for Windows XP. All right, so as you're about to see here, it's just gonna do that. Please wait while Windows prepares to start. All that good stuff. Now it's only gonna do this once, so yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of a that's kind of a good hand there. Or something. I don't know what I'm saying. But you know, all the good stuff. And this is yeah, and there's the wallpaper right there, his fire one. 
And then please wait. And this please wait is going to enter the out of box experience for this ZG5, which if you just bought yourself a ZG5 second handed or something like that and, and you wanted to do this with the factory XP install, then go right on ahead and do this. I mean, I totally believe that there is recovery media for this online somewhere and maybe and maybe you have an external drive that you plug in here and then do that but this is but but for what i just did you need to have the you need to have the acer aspire one zg5 factory install windows xp on the compete on on the machine which which luckily when i second handed this from ebay it did it did it had the factory install of this so i was able to do it I know, you, I know you can kind of see me through the tripod a little bit. I'm, I don't have that much space behind the camera, to be honest. But anyways, let's just <clears throat> let this go. Bought this off eBay, but how exactly? Well, I this is one of two computers that I won bids for. There's another one. There, there's another one I have that I bought for just thirty bucks without a bid. Surprisingly, this has been my cheapest computer. Surprisingly, I think this Acer is like one of my most cheapest computers I've I, I ever bought. To be honest, I think my, I think my other one is a comp is my compact desktop, which is currently hooked up right now to my HP 2009M monitor. All right, so just let it do its thing here, and you can see that it. Turned here we go. Let's see if we can make that a little louder. There's no way to. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you for purchasing this computer from Acer feature Microsoft Windows XP. This and the Acer Ferrari do not have the Acer logo like right where it should. All right, so click next. All right, so here's gonna select two sub settings. They seem to be correct for me, so I'm just gonna move on. Time zone are you in? I had to change this. That's not correct. Oh, there it is. Yeah, and daylight savings time just happened like a week ago, actually. All right, the EULA. I'm the fastest. I'm the fastest EULA reader in the world, so I obviously read them. All right, and then I do want automatic updates, just so you know, my PC can stay safe. All right, computer's name. Generally, this part takes a little forever to advance from the screen to the next. I don't know why, but. It always does. Yeah, but it just always does and it's annoying, to be honest. All right, so. All right, checking the internet connectivity. All right, an internet connection cannot be chosen. That's okay because we're gonna be connecting it later. This thing actually does work with wireless. All right, is ready to, ready to ready to register with Microsoft. No, this PC's outdated. It's like 2006 or something. I don't really know. Um, then who is computer? All right. Simple. All right. Where's the thing? Next. And then you're ready to go. Spire One is now bringing us to our desktop. 
which I will be taking a photo with the webcam that is featured on here. And I'll be posting that at the very end of the video. If I can find a way to get it on my, if I can get it, find a way to get it on the USB drive and whatnot. So. Oh, it's actually rebooting. Yeah, I forgot to mention that there's another reboot after after the out of box experience. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, again, I don't have that much room behind the camera, so I have to do I have to, you know, be like that sometimes. Alright, now we're about to go our desktop for real. I do believe there is a way we can make that louder, but we're going to wait till we get to the desktop to do that. Which, oh my god. I, wait, uh, that's not how I should put it. But, oh. But wait, there's more. What do I mean there's more? Just wait until we get to the desktop. Well, there you go. It looks like you're done, but you're not quite done yet. As, watch what happens. More specifically right there. It's, it's just going to install some of the stuff and whatnot. So I'm going to let that just go and then I'll be right back once it's all done. That's basically it. So after the Acer install um, setup does its thing, well, the first thing I'm going to do is remove my cafe because, you know, well, it's bloatware. Oh, wait a minute. That's not what I wanted. Control panel. Oh, there it is. The Acer Crystal Eye webcam. So actually, let me go ahead and show what it's like. All right, so, oops, later, close, hmm. there you have it, all right, and I'll place it at the very end, so basically that's about it, and I will see you guys later.